with how creative I've already seen with the fights of this season, Class A versus Class B, with the quirks, with everything I've already seen, I can already tell you this episode is going to be dope. Operation New Improv Moves? What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia Season 5. What is this, Episode 5? I, I really don't know. It always says episode 93. I don't know why they don't say season, episode, whatever. But last episode, we had class 1A plus Shinso winning that match. I've said it multiple times last episode, but I love the humbleness. I love the amount of people wanting to get better. I loved how we're improving. I love the experience levels, the differences and quirks, the teamwork, everything. Even though the stakes aren't necessarily that high, like none of these characters are gonna die, obviously, it's, but it's fun and it's fantastic character development for a class in which we've barely ever seen. So I am all for it. I'm not saying that like you guys aren't, I'm just saying I'm excited for it. If you guys do want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Jujutsu Kaisen, Haikyuu, Black Clover, check out that Patreon down below. We are four episodes ahead. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. My Hero Academia, Season 5, I think Episode 5. Operation New Improv Moves. Let's do it. <laughs> Reflect on that, you know. I love the reflective. <laughs> okay, Kaminari, relax. Even if you won, there's still many places in which you can improve. So I'm so glad about this, you know. This is why we do practices like this, you know. Exactly. Took him six years to master the binding cloth? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. 100%. They That's a big thing that I don't that I think they are really smart at making an observation of that I didn't really think about, especially when it comes to people who've done not only internships, like that's one level above other people, but especially the work studies. Sue and Kirishima are especially because they've been in literal life or death scenarios like multiple times at this point are putting everything into reflecting and, and to how to improve on stuff because they're able to relate it so much like when kirishima was like oh and shiozaki caught me right there like let's say he got caught by fuck i'm forgetting the guy rapa let's say he got caught by you know he could have died like he's taking this not only serious i think everyone's taking this seriously which is good except for Kari, not kaminari but they're putting it into a way that makes them better at such a quicker rate because oh i don't, I don't even know how to put it into words i just i just love that they made that little observation this is Bakugo. My fucking boy. <laughs> Shout out to everyone who told me Japanese schools have three semesters, so they're one semester away after this one. Okay, second match. Oh, this should be interesting. We have Kendo, big hands. Oh, is that the only one on class B that I recognize right there? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, I loved seeing Kendo do good in the in the beauty pageant, even though Hado won. They had their concert thing. Yeah, they were they were busy. That concert was amazing. I did forget they were in the internship together. I completely forgot about that. Always good to have rivals. Only improves you and makes you better. Especially in an environment like this. Always down. Ooh. Same type? What? Quirk type? Really? Kuroi Roshihai. Your quirk lets you merge with any darkness? That sounds so cool. Oh. Live in eternal revelry in the dark, man. What the hell are they talking about? You can't twinkle in the darkness, Aoyama. Oh, 
Isn't she class rep of class two? Or am I crazy on that? Hell yeah. I, I always like Kendo. Especially with her always putting <laughs> Monoma in, his, in her, his place. I remember that episode. That was a great episode. <laughs> Hell yeah, Kendo. I love that saying. Big sister. Big sister Kendo. Oh, we're on Scout Shadow right now. What's over here? Getting much information. I didn't know Dark Shadow could even go that far. Oh, Dark Shadow. Okay. Okay, taking the initiative. I see you. Oh. That's exactly what I was saying. So he has his limits, obviously. Yeah, he's controlling him. I didn't catch his name, Kuroiro. I need to get his name. I need to get all of Class B's name, but he's controlling him. His legs are just quivering. Yeah, War Perfection. That is really good counter against Dark Shadow. Kuroiro, yep, sucked him out of there. I do love how his quirk has to do with shadows and his skin is like dark. He's black like that. Oh, it's so unique. So cool. And there are shadows everywhere. As long as there's light, there's shadows. It's so cool. He can melt into any darkness. And by developing his quirk, you know, these are the improvements they've made throughout this, this year, you know? Destined to be rivals. I love it. Oh, Tokoyami. The move I invented while I was with Hawks? Dark Fallen Angel? Why does Tokoyami have the coolest move names ever? His dark shadow enveloping himself is called Sukuyomi. This is called Dark Fallen Angel. And then it shows Hawks. As the commercial card. Oh, we get to see it. We get to see it. Thank you. Just so easily able to take care of this. So easily. Man, Tokoyami can't even keep up with Hawks. That's how good he is at taking care of bad guys. He's already on to the next one. I forgot his hero name is Sukiyomi. Not his... What? He has a name... Where Dark Shadow's like wrapping himself around him and he has a special ultimate move name for that. I forgot. I, I'm sorry, guys. Can you guys let me know what that is? Yeah, I don't doubt it. Hawks is just fucking amazing. Birds of a feather. That actually makes a lot of sense with the context we just got a few episodes ago. Makes a lot of sense. I understandable. I like it. I like the reasoning. USJ Shugeki no Shosayo Hanashi Rida. Futu to Komiagero Kuyasa. Oreo ten Shugoto Janaiso. He was super frustrated about that. Completely understandable. So now he's not just barely keeping up with him. Now he's... Damn. I'm saying, look at him. He said, don't look down on me. I'm not a messenger bird. He's flying him around. What's going on? Why? It would be so cool to fly. Oh my god, that would be so cool. True. But we are birds of a feather. I like that relatability. They find in each other. Bird, bird light quirks, you know? The ones who can fly should fly. Coming from Hawks, I really like that line. 
facts, man. If I couldn't be confined to the ground, I'd be up there too. I do. Oh, I love that animation of him moving in the shadows. That's so cool, man. I'm telling you, I would choose that quirk. There's not a lot of quirks in the show that I would personally choose. I would easily choose that one. Oh, I love this animation. Scheming hero Vantadark is going after Momo, obviously. All them smart. Oh my god, he can he's so mobile. Yeah, that umbello that's yeah, he can't move freely. Really enjoying this observation, you know. Oh, okay, 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 my hero. All right, relax, Deku. Relax, Deku. This is fucking amazing, though. After being so frustrated with Hawks, too, I like how he's genuinely appreciative of what he taught him. I will go even higher. That's so fucking crazy. Toko Yami can fucking fly. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to hide in the shadow when, oh, when there's light, like all that. Oh my god, this camera work. Another quirk, mushrooms. She can make fungi grow off you? What's going on with her? Man, the plans. If there's light, then... Oh, okay. So they have a backup plan for... Yep, plan B, yep. Okay, mushroom girl. What is her quirk? Don't end right... So I gotta say, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I love the emphasis on Tokoyami and the, the flashbacks we got of the time we missed because we never really talked to him after the work study or the internship. It was all just focused on Deku, how they went and all that, but I never thought, oh yeah, he's fucking with Hawks. Maybe we should ask him how his work study went. And he learned a new move, Dark Fallen Angel. What was the ultimate move he came up with last season? Um, What was that called? Because he like, he like, in, in, enveloped himself in the fucking dark shadow and had a name i thought it was sukiyomi but that's his hero name i'm an idiot so if you guys could let me know what that is i thoroughly enjoyed kuroi Ro's quirk the dark and i love how they're like destined to be rivals because they're both their quirks have to do with darkness and shadows i even really like how he could get inside dark shadow and just fucking he's not really like in dark shadow's brain telling dark shadow what to do he's literally in dark shadow's arm moving you know like he's in you know, he's like, it's just, it's just an interesting concept and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Also, can't wait to learn more about Class B's quirks. Like we have the Mushroom Girl, Kendo, obviously we know Kendo. I really like what Tetsu Tetsu was saying about Kendo as well though. She's the big sister, of, uh, she's the class rep. She is, if you think about it, she's been there from the jump. Like since we knew Class B, she's been one of those characters who's been like incredible since then. And I completely forgot her and Momo were together in that internship, you know, that's just fucking awesome and i love how they have their own little rivalry because of that and i like how kendo who i look at class b i instantly think of kendo or like someone like tetsu tetsu she is amazing in her own right but she was like somewhat jealous slash resentful of being grouped up into the same box with um momo because momo is just all around better grades class 1a she got him through recommendations it's like don't put me in the same box you know but it is using it's giving her motivation to want to beat her and now that this is an actual up like this is an actual determined fight you know this is not like you know what i'm trying to say now that she actually has a chance to prove that she deserves to be in that same box as momo she's taking it seriously and she's coming up with plans i just i just thoroughly enjoy this i am the teamwork and the ah i'm loving every aspect of this and i'm seeing so many quirks oh i love it i love it i love it i love it and then hawks wanting uh tokiomi can fly I don't know, man. This show is just fucking incredible. 
I am going to head out of here. But like I said, enjoy this episode so much. Cannot wait for next week's. I know I'm late on this, guys. I apologize that crazy. I'm sorry. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Peace out, you guys.